Oh no no no. Not, not There's this one kind, who eh? said something about Soweto. Be like in Soweto they write chickens. What's what's that guy's name again? Had Shoma Josie not broken up with that guy, yeah. somehow somewhere she would be the one maybe today getting that Grammy. No, I'm more frustrated by the, the the Nigerian game, like the game we played against Nigeria. That's uh-huh. why I'm more frustrated because, okay, the first the, the first uh, missed penalty is like one first game, right? So the okay, it's understandable. Yes, you can miss a penalty, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, even if the they might have lost, there, I don't think I would have like have that much frustration. But mm-hmm. my frustration comes when uh, we we're looking at the fact that okay, with the Nigerian uh, when we played against Nigeria, uh-huh. it looked to me that the outcome they hope they were aiming for was penalties. And what what I want is that if I help you, please help me by helping this one. Yeah. Hi guys, this is the young Zod of Soft Life Mazingele. What do Rano? If it's not inside, if it's not inside, it's on top. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't need anything. Yeah. Just only. We back live, we back live, we're coming live from the AR studio. It's another exciting episode of Peace of Mind podcast. We're podcasting after hours, we're podcasting after hours, man. Yeah. We're starting with the Grammys, seven hour hosting. Did you watch the Grammys? I sh- <laughs> I, I am one man, I am one man, I must say. I am one man who's kind of afraid of being sucked by the internet kind of you know when you're in, on the internet right you yeah. kind of suck up everything that's there and then you end up not speaking you but kind of speaking what you see on the internet basically okay e.g this english i'm speaking right now yeah it's a uh, like many hours of television and radio uh-huh. yeah so was so. it was it a bad investment though no, on this one, it's kind of a good investment, but I think I've invested enough for me now to say, you know what, let's let it just cooperate on its own rather than me taking everything that I find out there. Now it's me looking, it's like, okay, this is what yeah. I want to watch, not what is actually dictated to me by an algorithm out there. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, 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 the, but then what happened to the information that we get on the internet? Are you now avoiding all that because you are saying the investment that you put for the English that you speak now, you're saying you feel like you've done a lot. Yeah, I feel like I've done a lot, but I'm looking at it in a in a perspective that I'm like, um, you you, you know, you you go to the internet, right? Yeah. You come across somebody, and then when you come across somebody, mm-hmm. they tell you something. When they tell you something, like they they might tell you one thing, and then that thing be true, and then when yeah. they tell you the second thing be true the third yeah. the third one yeah. it might not be true yeah but you are most likely to say it is true too <laughs> but this time we're talking about the grammys man we're talking about the grammys how yeah. not true can the grammys be oh you you heard that guy that guy was like uh, if you want to win the grammys you need to join uh what's what's that the committee of a song yeah not the illuminati no which one the head the head of uh uh what's that again the 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 Grammy what you call there was that guy what's his name which guy which guy who, who, and guy and and when had, did he say this when did he say this there's a video on Insta yeah I saw a reel on Insta saying that you need to to join to be a member of the the thingy the the Grammy what you call so basically they check the music what he said was that uh for you to win a Grammy yeah they're not looking at the impact your music did but yeah. they're looking at the quality of the sound but yeah. uh, on the that's like I don't know how many members are on the board who, of yeah. the people who actually review the music yeah but he said uh they give the the music to those people and then those people get to say like I give it this mark I give it this mark I give this one that mark and then but the one that comes up on top is the but Skumba, all the awards are like that most there's a panel that decides who wins there's a panel that decides who get uh nominated it's, it's yeah. the same for the Grammys I thought maybe you're gonna say you have to join the high powers become an artist of some sort that's uh-huh. when maybe you can become your Jay-Z like and People uh, start coming with some sort of theories that you're part of some kind of cult. Yeah, and then I, 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 I may go and then talk about what who there was that guy uh, and an American, yeah, an American guy. What's his name again? One who just came out now on some podcast. 
saying a whole lot of things about Hollywood actors, especially black Hollywood actors. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. Not, not There's that this one who eh? said something about Soweto, be like, in Soweto, they write chickens. What's, what's that guy's name again? Uh, the one who lied about oh, no, SA, the one who lied about South Africa. Yeah. What's oh. His name? What's his name again? Yeah, that guy. So basically, yeah. Uh, it's Omar something. Yeah, Omar yeah, yeah. Something. Yeah. yeah. Basically, I used to listen to that guy's podcast like, uh, as, like reels basically. Oh, clips, okay. Clips, but then I wouldn't watch the whole thing. But it was like more of this information I got from that guy was yeah. like information I would use going outside, even verifying most of the <laughs> stuff because I'm like it's from a trusted source. Ah, uh, from so your basically from that I was from, like, you know what? From your very own trusted source. Yeah, and I was like, you know what? Yeah. Most of this information you get out there now, you you find yourself uh, arguing, conflicting with somebody here yeah somebody who's got source like who's got like uh references to what but, they're saying but but, you then, want... but then isn't it always up to you the reader to verify the stuff you're reading in your case you no, were lying not really. you were the one who was lying i was lying but i, I wasn't you aware that i was to. lying you were lied to. i was lied to and then yeah. i was lying unaware that i'm lying to yeah. other people as for effect i would know like that that part yeah it's more like i could verify that so we're to the writing like pigs since when? <laughs> so so you went around telling people that in Soweto we ride chicken. No, that's when I cut him off. I was like, ah, yeah. this must <laughs> fucking be lying. That's when I cut him off. This must fucking be lying. <laughs> but but that was after you've like uh, listened that to was... his podcast for how long? That was after you had listened to his podcast. Uh, I would say nearly a year. Or yeah. So yeah, nearly a year. But yeah, then, but then again, speaking of the I wasn't watching right? po- his yeah. podcast exactly, but like yeah. him so doing one so other you, podcast. So you were watching it. Channel. You were watching it in passing. Yeah. So but then you kind of got hooked too because videos were being suggested one after the other, yeah, one, one after the other. Exactly. Yeah. So. So now you're avoiding the internet. In, in that sense, yeah. Yes. I'm ah. the I know. I know. I know. X stuff. You know that like, <laughs> when they're acting, they're acting. It's bad, and it's kind of interesting how it's bad. It's bad, but you're like. You know, you're watching something and you know it's it's like uh, it's scripted. Yeah. You know, like how wrestling, like wrestling. Um, what was this? Um, fans of wrestling, yeah. uh, wrestling. Yeah. Like your Tiago, bro. Oh, so Thiago they'll is fight a you to death. I mean, like that thing is scripted. <laughs> they'll fight you to death, bro. Yeah. But but at least you know, cause that's how they made it out. They 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 wanna make it feel like it's actually real, although it's scripted, because. You know the actors or the wrestlers still get to feel pain yeah. whenever they are performing. Some get injured, uh, some are out for so many weeks. So it, it kind of has that element of being real. It's just that the outcome mostly it will be scripted. But then yeah, coming yeah. back to the Grammys, man, Trevor Noah was hosting. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, actually, yeah. Now that, that I remember, uh, yeah. John Legend said something about Trevor is hosting. So uh, hold on to his phone. I'm gonna do whatever with it, like taking videos oh, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like, yeah. Now I remember. Saw a clip. Yeah. And imagine this is his fourth Grammy. Yeah. Consecutive. He got a Grammy. No, no, no. He did oh, not hosting. win. Yeah, hosting. Oh yeah. My God. <laughs> <laughs> I guess be winning out there. They gonna be winning. Oh. That was gonna be something else, man. That was gonna be something else. For real, for yeah. real, yeah. But big up to him, man. I feel like since he got that Daily Show gig, he kind of like got Blue, to open a off, whole yeah. lot of doors out there. Yeah. Cause ever since that, he's been. Everywhere in America has been meeting Beyonce, bro, Mrs. Carter. Ah. I sh- hey, people are doing bro. things. I'm about who Beyonce, bro. Yeah. Um, I'm like looking at uh, Jay Z. Yeah. And then there, there was this song he was talking about how he used to run a corner and then now he, he's got his own corner office. Then oh, I'm like, with that, yeah. Yeah. I realized like, this spot. This yeah. guy was a drug dealer, bro. I yeah. Mean, this guy was a drug dealer. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he, he says it a lot in most of his songs. He says it a lot in most of his songs where mm-hmm. he says that he used to deal. So, yeah. and now he's a CEO. He's out of that kind of life. Yeah. Yeah. But there was a time where he kind of like didn't have hope for so much, you know. He used to hang around gangs, gangsters. Gangsters, used to be yeah. a member of a gang where it was cool for you to be a member of a gang. You used to, you have, to, to have a gun himself. Yeah. Because that's how they were living back then, you know. And talk of Jay-Z, man. There's, at the very same award, uh, he came out calling out uh, the Academy for snubbing uh, Beyonce, his wife. Snubbing? Yeah, they snubbed her uh, album of the year award. 
Oh, yeah. They give it to who? They gave it to Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift? Yeah. <laughs> So, so 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 this time he was the the the, watch, the Will Smith of the show. <laughs> yeah, he he kind of like he kind of like man, and you, you you know what he said? Yeah. He said um he feels like he was he was just giving a very long speech. He said some people are gonna get dropped tonight. Yeah. Which happens a lot at the awards, and some people are nominated in some categories that they were not supposed to be. So he oh. went on to say that he still can't believe that. His wife, after winning so many Grammys, she has like 32 Grammys, but still she hasn't won album of the year. Oh, but she's got too many Grammys. Why does she want all of them? Oh, come on. She's got too many Grammys. How many does Taylor Swift got? Taylor has, I think she has that many as well, but then she's been winning uh, album of the year for some time now. And then yeah. the very same night she won album of the year. Yeah. You still remember that time where Kanye West made that uh, scene? At the awards and the MTV awards, where he jumped on stage where Taylor Swift was being awarded, no. and then he cracked the mic. <laughs> That's a fool right there. That's a fool right there. And you know why Jay? When, you know why Jay? Why 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 Kanye did that? No. Because he felt that that award was supposed to be given to Beyonce. It was that time where Kanye and Jay Z oh, were still oh, yeah, we're still yeah stuff, yeah. So even the whole oh, thing of no Jay Z coming yeah. out, it kind of like reminded me of that time like, where yeah, it's still happening. It's still yeah, happening. yeah. That no man, we've seen something like this before. Last time it was Kanye. This time it's Jay Z calling out the academy. But now I'm like, as for them, like I don't know, but I feel like for them it's different. That like they're kind of looking to be recognized by yeah. yeah. It's not you know, it's more like um uh when it's uh, like a like, cool. When somebody's looking down on you, basically, yeah, you yeah. also look down on yourself, and then you need that other person to approve you before you approve yourself. That's yeah. kind of the feeling but, I get. Yeah. Obviously, in the entertainment industry, it happens a lot because, uh, first of all, you, you weigh your chances on how other people see you. Yeah. And also, even other people, for them to come and put money into your brand, they have to see what kind of influence you have on other people. Will people be able to, will people want to buy your music, first mm -hmm. of all? And if you, you kind of like don't have that kind of uh, appeal yeah, appeal to people, obviously brands are just going to overlook you, go to the next person. Sleep, yeah. Same thing with what has been happening in the hip-hop industry. A lot of us have been saying, Casper on your vest is not really gifted within... The, the, the rapping the, rapping, yeah, the, yeah. the, the rapping game basically yeah, the rapping game basically but if you check the most successful rapper in SA is first on your vest you, you you look at even those who came before him well, in in terms of making money getting sponsored deals you know being the buying expensive cars and a whole lot of things yeah there hasn't been any rapper that has like surpassed first on your vest before or after oh yeah you see and, and then, Mr. Um, and Mr. Your West will say, keeping keep keeping the brand clean, yo, <laughs> keeping the brand clean, yo, keep it safe, yo. <laughs> say that. <laughs> keeping the brand clean, I kept my brand clean, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And and also, you know, still on Taylor, McG, you know what McG did? Yeah. Uh, on the podcast not so long, he came out and said, if Msaki had the management that Taylor had, mm. she Actually, he, he came and said, if Tyler's management were uh, managing someone who's more talented, yeah, like Msaki, Msaki yeah. she would be far. And people on the internet kind of took it that McG is saying Tyler is less talented. Than Msaki? Are, no, are not you, necessarily you than Msaki, but more like that. But people took it like that. People took it like that. People took it like that. Yes, that's not... Uh, aim his sauna uh push but the kind of people he used is more like yeah it's more like comparing it's yes yeah, now like, like it's more like comparing two people saying why can't we get those people who are responsible for that person to manage this one because this one is more talented than <laughs> i get your point, you get it. I get your point. yeah <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so, so that remark didn't land well with a lot of people on the internet. Some were saying McGee is jealous of Tyler's success. McGee doesn't approve of Tyler's wins and everything. McGee is good. Yeah. Invoking people's inner feelings. Yeah. Good, yeah. yeah. Someone I was also. So, is good, bro. Someone was also saying that because you remember not so long. I don't know if you call you 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 you, you did catch up with it. Mm. Uh, DJ Maporisa came out saying those Bafana, those two Bafanas on podcast. These days they're talking about me a whole lot. Mm. I feel like they're out of content. So now they're trying to make me content all of a sudden. And kind of like. pushed it out of him. That's <laughs> good. But also. But also, you know what Mapolisa was trying to do? Mm. He was trying to come between McG uh, and Saul. Saying Saul is the, mo- is the smartest guy on the podcast. How come does he allow McG to overpower him? And people were like, McG is his employee, bro. He's his employer. Yeah. You can't overpower your boss. No matter okay. how wrong he is. Like 13, is it 37 rules of uh, of power, I think? Yeah. Or, or rules of power. Yeah. Yeah, it's like never outshine your, your, lo- your, your, your master. Yeah, yeah, yeah never like, outshine yeah, your master. Yeah, 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 even when your master, master even yeah. when your master is wrong, you may rather look somewhere else yeah but then don't make it seem obvious especially on camera that your master is wrong yeah make him a fool yes like dead fool then <laughs> so so, so and, and and then mcg went on to say uh you remember shoma josie right yeah shoma josie was under the same management that is responsible for tyler uh-huh. and you know what the management does for uh, an artist basically they like, market the artist yeah so even with Tyler, what's happening now for her to have gone as far as America, mm. they had to market her. She yeah. couldn't have done it herself. They had to have the management part of it that are going we'll to put in the effort, are going, going to put in the hours. Yeah. So apparently a lot of people are saying, because what happened is that Shoma Josie used to date the current manager to Tyler. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Allegedly so, eh? Allegedly so. We don't want to get sued. Eh? Ah, come on. We're just a small fish. We don't want to be. Hey, we don't want to get sued. Just small bro. Fish. Let we, us be. we don't have 500k. You don't have 500k, man. So apparently, some are saying all the success that is coming to Tyler had Shoma Josie not broken up with that guy. Yeah. Somehow, somewhere, she would be the one maybe today getting that Grammy. Mm and and it kind of comes back to the part where you're thinking you remember shoma josie's song john cena yeah you remember that she went abroad she even met the guy but it was crap the song i must say (laughs) what the hell was that (laughs) ah come on on, bro Ah, the song wasn't as bad as you say Mm -hmm. come on bro the song wasn't as bad as you say yeah, but then do you like follow Ty- Shoma Josie, not Tyler? Shoma Josie. Sorry. Yeah. She she's gone under the, the, the rug. What 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 gonna happen with her? Uh she but but like every artist in the game, that's what happens most of the time. You come in, you blow, and if you can maintain the blow, yeah. you, you're gonna come down bit by bit. And remember, after she blew up we went to COVID and Ama Piano took over. So, so Ama Piano kind of like hampered a whole lot of artists who kind of like blew up before COVID. COVID, yeah. So a whole lot of artists who were thinking have that thing in the game, they can go the distance. Yeah. Uh, a majority of them, some had to even switch to Ama Piano. Look at Raisin, for example. Raisin, what's it called? What's it called? Sizwe. Sizwe Alakin. Alakin or something. Alakin or Alakin. Although I think there was. Oh, 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 for me, to my liking, there was only one song he's been involved in that I kind of liked. In the Amma Piano the game. game. Yeah, yeah, in the yeah. mic, yeah. But he's I forgot made, the name he's, of the song, though. He has a lot of songs. If you check even his streams on Spotify, yeah, I think it's over 500k. Damn. Yeah. He must so, be releasing some good stuff then. Yeah, so... Uh, but then uh, we kind of overestimate the the audiences sometimes. be like, they could have a good ear. And then when you get there, you find those... I know. You know what? Mm. 
Ay, 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 this is a But but then let's come back to the to show my Josie's song. Ah hey. uh, no. So are you <laughs> saying so, 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 so are you saying the time when John Cena came and met her because they played the song? He was probably saying why they're playing this crap song. John Cena was gonna like happy for the clouds. I'm thinking most like was happy for the clouds be like, okay, I'm kinda dying. I don't know what to do to actually stay relevant. Let me just ride with this. Ah, come on, come be John Cena, bro. Maybe he enjoyed the music. Nah, I mean, maybe he's maybe. part of those people I'm kind of hey. talking about right yeah. here. Who but even, but, but even in your case, I feel like you are being subjective, saying that song was crap. It wasn't entirely crap, bro. It's just yeah. that the kind of music that show makes. You remember that other one, Hoku Nandia? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That even that one you don't vibe no, you no, vibe that with that one you vibe with that, that one was a song, yeah. Bro. yeah that was a song bro. but but mostly you know what i've also realized is that a whole lot of artists you find that they end up blowing with songs that they didn't really think was gonna blow like the john cena yeah. song it's just you going to studio making a song about undertaker next thing you are in america meeting undertaker and then now you're like, damn, how did we get how here did we i didn't really see it getting this far i was just in uh, studio thinking let me just think uh, play with this thing Uh, i'm sure maybe she won't come out and admit to be like hey i was kind of joking with the whole john cena like playfully i was like recording playfully most likely she won't come out and say that but i but you know what she said you know what she said she came out and said um she kind of like always liked the guy. She used to watch wrestling. So when she was growing up, she used to be do- <laughs> one of those girls who used to play with boys. Do you know what we work with here, right? The yeah. AR, right? Yeah. We do you watch your 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 business your registrations business, exactly. and stuff. Here. What do we do? When a client, when it, when whatever it, exactly. when a client comes, you like, this has always been my thing, man. Exactly. I was I was born for this. Ah, come on. <laughs> It's one on one. What are you saying? I was born for this. Oh. When, when you are with a client, you like, time, yeah. I can do this in my sleep. I can do this in my sleep. Yeah. You, wake, you wake me up at 12 a.m. and say, like you say, company. Yeah. You want to say, I'm your guy. <laughs> <laughs> you want to text because I'm that man. You want VEE? Come here. Come, Come here. On. I will yeah. do it in my sleep, man. So I can't register a business, though, but yeah. I have a special, uh, 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 somebody who's specializing with business uh, yeah. registration here. Yeah. Yeah. I have Tiago right there. Yeah, oh, come on. He will get you a profile in five minutes. In ba- come on, yeah. You want to do some edits on your what what? Come to us. Come, yeah. <laughs> come to us. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but then uh, there was also something that DJ Maporisa said. I hope he doesn't also go out and say we're talking about him so much on the podcast. <laughs> We're small fish. <laughs> let us swim. Yeah, we're small. Once we, we let swim, maybe yeah. you can eat us then. Yeah, big sharks. But he he said this. He said, uh, if you go to his studio and record a song, mm-hmm. he is entitled to hundred percent ownership of your song. Hush. Yo. Whether you paid him for studio time or you did not. He is entitled to 100% of your song. You? Yeah. Oh, oh. No, that's the same crap. I'm like, uh, after they started this duo, the Scorpion King, Sochu Yeah. Uh, in my eyes, what I was, what I kept on seeing was that uh, DJ Maporisa kept on adding his name on Gabza's music. Ah. <laughs> 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 kept on adding his name. Alleged. Gabza and Maporisa. Alle- Gabza allegedly, Maporisa. man. Allegedly. 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 <laughs> we don't want them coming for us. We don't want them coming for us. Yeah. <laughs> allegedly. 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 That's what I gave that, that, saying, no. That's what even some other people were saying. And I can't kind of like felt that it's kind of a bit unfair though especially if i'm paying to make my song in your studio mm-hmm. i get it i'm using your equipment but yeah. also i've paid for the paid studio for the... time but now if, still yours how if you want more you can just simply come out and say i want more brah are you able to give me some more and i'm like no i can't then we go separate ways you then for you to say because I used the equipment, then you're entitled to 100% of my intellectual thing. Everything, bruh. 
Hundred. Hundred percent. I remember this... he was he was trying to spark a a conversation to us podcasters. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And and even make G they came out at some point they were saying he's gatekeeping the, the Amapia industry. Oh, the industry yeah. So as, as soon as he said that, people were saying, Ah, I'm a police mm. He's coming out. <laughs> he's coming out. Bit by bit is coming out. And then he was like, I don't care, motherfucker. You do that, I own hundred percent of your masters. Yeah. And 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 also, man, while we're still talking about owning hundred percent of your masters, Bafana Bafana players are to receive more than a meal for the progress in Avcon. Each, yeah, wow. unless if things change. Wow, because you know, suffer gets suffer, bro. They make you suffer. <laughs> <laughs> bro, they gave me chest pain. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a, I'm a say, I'm a say. I, it's, it's painful. It's, it's, it's like. That loss, bruh, against uh, Nigeria. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's more like I looked at it. it was like we just lost. It. We lost uh, through like stupid decisions. Like, how can you, as a coach, bruh, do the same mistake twice? What? Which one is that mistake? The penalties. Missing the first penalty each time. The first but, two penalties each time. But you, you can't blame the coach for the players missing penalties, Iskumba. That's unfair. Oh, who am I supposed to blame? Who, the who, penalty who's, takers. Who's the penalty takers. The penalty takers are to be blamed. No, I'm, I'm, I'm asking who's electing penalty takers? Sometimes they elect themselves knowing I'm who talking... is more capable of scoring. Or scoring, and yes. penalty, it's 50-50. So, you can so... kick right and keep a guess right, then he saves. So 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 you know they know they know that um the kind of game like like seeing that game yeah. it showed to me that the kind of game they were playing is the game that they wanted to land to end penalties and yeah. win penalties yeah but even for that outcome they prepared for they, like they they were aiming for yeah. they were not prepared for it like how it's like it's like that when it comes to penalties it's too how bad. you can prepare for penalties and still go and lose so, so I was still, I, you know coming back to that Skumbane. The thing is, against Cape Verde, we were lucky. The keeper saved us. That's true. And I don't think that game they were planning to end up on penalties. What I'm thinking is that they thought they could win the game because Cape Verde is kind of like... not. They were not really favorites or underdogs. No, no. Against no. That, in that game, I don't think, think yeah. there was an underdog or a favorite. Yeah. Any team could have won that game. Hence, it got to penalties. Anybody's game, basically. It was anybody's yeah. game. No, no, I'm more frustrated by the, the, the Nigerian game, like the game we played against Nigeria. That's uh-huh. why I'm more frustrated because, okay, the first the, the first uh, missed penalty is like one first game, right? So the okay, it's understandable. Yes, you can miss a penalty, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, even if the, they might have lost there, I don't think I would have like have that much frustration. But mm-hmm. my frustration comes when uh, we, we're looking at the fact that, okay, with the Nigerian, uh, when we played against Nigeria, uh-huh. it looked to me that the outcome they hope they were aiming for was penalties. Not, but even not even really. That outcome they were aiming for the penalties. Yeah. They were even not prepared for it. Not really, Skumba. I, I feel like that game against Nigeria, it was one of those games where Nigeria dominated the first half. Yeah. We tried to fight them in the first half, trying to cover ground. In the second half, we were on top of them. Yeah, we That's were playing our we, game. We, 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 we created, our game we, created yeah. we created more chances than them in the second half. Because we were playing our game. Yes. Yeah. And that shows you that the coach wanted to win that game. If you remember that Tapel Omrena chance. Yeah. It wasn't the only chance that we missed. There were also some chances where Mahopa could have converted, but then he kinda like missed. Mm. You saw the over 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 kick. Yeah. From Mahopa oh, yeah. as well. That one was, went over, yes, yeah, over the post. Went over the post. Yeah. That shows you that the mentality of the coach was, guys, let's win this game for 90 minutes. The second half, we got them. We have them where we want. Yeah. In, in the second half, Nigeria was seeing flames, to be honest. That's why even when they won the penalties, they, they did feel that they, this game could have gone either way. Either way yeah. So for us, getting to penalties and we miss penalties, it's it's one of those things that even if maybe I feel like, yes, we, don't, we, we looking from the Cape Verde game, we do not have good penalty takers. And uh, it seems like even before the tournament, most of our players are not used to taking penalties. Mm. 
That, that's why against Cape Verde, we were saved by the keeper. Against Nigeria, the guys went and studied the keeper's movement. They knew that he has to take a side. We're, we're on a disadvantage there big time because this keeper is playing here in Zanz and he knows our players and, and very also, well. And, and also, yeah. you played penalties the previous game. They've oh, seen they've your seen penalty basically. takers, how good they are. Mm -hmm. They've seen your keeper, how good he is. I I... Only we could have won that game only if we did not win that game against Cape Verde maybe, yeah. during penalties. Or if maybe we went oh, straight head to head yes. and then go to penalties it was with them. It would be a fair game because now Nigeria will not know what South Africa has under the sleeve. Oh, I will, we see. We don't know them, but they know us. They had the advantage yeah. to begin with from they, the start. They knew what we were capable of. We did not know what they were capable of. And now what they did was they were reacting to the situation. Yeah. We saw how this guy played. Okay, now we were now acting, trying to see. Will he go left? Will he Will go, go right? right? Yeah. Well, they they were reacting. But those penalties. Yeah. <gasps> I don't know, they, 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 they took clean penalties. Right? Yeah, they took clean penalties clean because penalties. most of their players are used to taking penalties. They have good penalty takers. That's yeah, what yeah. happens. <laughs> if we had good penalty takers, mm -hmm. we had a chance against Nigeria. Remember? Chest pains, bro. Yeah. I we had a, we had, a, we had a chance to come back. Ish. When Who was that guy who missed that penalty? The one that could have brought us to 2-2. Two, two. The one oh, who... no, the, the, the second. It was the second or the third. Who was that guy? Uh, it's the second penalty. Uh, was, was it Mahupa? No, yes, the, the, the penalty. penalty the yeah, the third penalty. You could have brought yeah. us back into the game because it's Nigeria the missed their third penalty. For the post, so yeah. scored that one. But then uh, I'm like, I. And, and, and in the game that we played terribly, that one against Congo. Even the coach came out. He said, "Hey." I still don't know how we won this game, but thanks to the keeper for saving us during the penalties. Because infield, we were being dominated left and right. I even thought maybe it's because of fatigue. They could be fatigued because, they, yes, they've played a whole lot of game in such a short period of time. But they're going to get a meal, brah. Imagine getting a meal for six games, after six games. Bruh, there's also cryonics. Have you ever seen something on the internet about cryonics? It's a procedure where they preserve they preserve uh, a a dead human body and even the body parts. Yes, with ice. Yeah, but then they use a chemical. Uh, they call it nitrogen something. Yeah, it behaves almost like ice, right? Yeah, so they use nitrogen to preserve the remains of a dead person. They can preserve, you can either choose to preserve your head or maybe preserve the whole body. It's expensive to preserve the whole body, but the head and your brain is much more cheaper, which is $80,000 cheaper. Not sure how cheaper that is. Yeah. 80000 it's, yeah, it's going to be almost a million rand. Yeah. Yes, it might be close to that. And you know what they're saying? They're doing that. They're saying there could be, if ever there's, there's going to be such a process in the future where they're going to be able to revive. Aha. Not you can be, you might be. So currently there are some people whose bodies have been preserved. There's a company that's getting money for doing that. Is your mic still on that side? I wonder how much you missed. Shit, yeah. I wonder how much you missed. Yeah. It doesn't even sound the clip. Yeah. It doesn't click. Yeah. But you did check there on that thing. You were still saying. You were still saying. I was saying it's more like they're uploading the, the brain basics. It's more like it is AI and then there is like called like uh, UI. It's like uploaded intelligence basically. It's more like yeah. they kind of bend down your, your your brain with a laser kind of uh -huh. blowing to the, to the system. So you kind of now have a digital form 
So your digital form is kind of controlled by what you post perceive yourself as being while you're inside the, the system. Yes. So in a way... So, uh, so, so now your brain gets into the system, it becomes part of the system, yeah. with the system operating at the same time. You, you know, it, like, it with, with the laser, the it's kind of taking the, the, the brain, basically. Yeah. Like, um, sort of, it, it's sort of what... It creates a, a, a binary, like a, a code, basically, mm-hmm. on the system. So yes. you live there, you are a code now, yes. basically. Yeah. Obviously, you become a code. I mean, that's how they're going to study. Pella now, since they're on the preliminary stages, they're still trying to study the brain in full so that they understand what needs to be done on their side mm-hmm. and what is it that they can modify on the chips, even the size part where, because now the chip is almost the size of a coin. Mm. So obviously they're going to scale it down until it's something very small that they connect it to your nerves and then it starts running through your whole body where they're saying for people who are disabled, that chip in the near future can allow them to be able to use certain parts of their body. Mm. You can be able to move your, your, your hand. You can be able to see. You know how, how, how you actually sell a dream. You don't sell a dream with just the notion that... Uh... You know, when you're dreaming, you will like you dream you are flying, but then you also have to give them uh, an idea that this thing can actually be positive for people to actually accept it. So in a way, I'm like, ah. Obviously, everything that has been introduced in humanity has been introduced with the aim of trying to Progress make things race, better. Yeah, yeah, yeah make, make life better for us. Of which some have made things worse. Like if you check at the industrialization, people were saying industrialization is good. By the time they were trying to transition into transition, yeah. industrializing everything, now they are coming back and telling us the factories need to start burning less and less fuel. Fuel, yeah, because eco it's not eco friendly. Yeah. We're mm-hmm. losing our ozone layers uh-huh. yeah, and all and of that stuff. And what's happening in South Africa now? We're getting load shed. But I don't I still don't get how we get effed, bruh, in this whole thing. We are one hell of a, a, a coal coal producers. Yeah. But still we don't have power. We're not gonna have power if we keep on taking money from the international community telling us that we need to burn less and less fuel. While they keep while they keep coming to South Africa to do what to export more and more, to export more and more, more and more, more and more coal. More and more coal is seen leaving the ports of SA, going to the very same countries that are giving us money, telling us to stay away from coal. From coal. So it's like someone's telling you to stay away from this and then they go after the very same thing. Yeah. Can't you see that they're trying to reduce competition on that? Material, and it's, it's kind of working for... Bra. Those who are in power, they're kind of buying into the whole thing. Bra, check the size of America. How how big is America compared to South Africa? America? Yeah. It's bigger than How South big Africa. is Russia compared to South Africa? Bra, tons. Yeah, tons and air. tons and tons. So do you think even when it comes to polluting the environment, how much footprint can South Africa have compared to those countries to come and tell us that we need to grade down? Pella, America... <laughs> It's not that much. It's not we, that much. We're being sold a lie. 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 Eh? And and also, man, uh, just I think uh, you probably might have seen the April Pro 15. 15? Yeah. Watch those goggles or phone. The phone. Pro 15? Yeah. Wasn't that out like a year, last year or something? Was it out a year last year, or isn't it? Didn't it just come out not so long? Maybe, maybe around it, December. It, it, it comes out November, September, somewhere yeah, there. Yeah, somewhere there. No, I haven't seen it. You haven't seen it, no. Eh? I also haven't seen it, which means we can't even review it, cause uh, yeah, yeah. But also the Galaxy Twenty Four Ultra. Twenty Two Ultra. I also haven't seen it. I've just been seeing the reviews from people. Yeah. They say it's dope. They say Samsung has made a good phone on that one. Ah. <laughs> the best people do actually yeah. have those uh, 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 what should we call devices, gadgets. You know they're working for the company. We know mostly, the best people do have those products. Yeah, mostly, mostly are getting those as freebies. You know. Yeah. yeah. 
just put in a, put in a, a good word for the, 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 the blind people of the world 